Here in my bedroom, I got the door closed. The AC is on and there's got noise that you're gonna hear. New York City is fun, oh, is that what humidity is? What I'm excited about though is, oh, hold on, come here, one second, let me get you here. That white building, not very visible. There's buildings behind it that wasn't very visible. Today, they are visible. The weekend is gonna look good. We're gonna have some fun out in the streets of New York City. And go have some fun we did. We went to Jackson Heights, located in Queens, home of over 200 known spoken languages, to lots of fast food. Lots of named after a small Tibetan town. The fast food place is their first location located behind this cell phone place. And it's actually got some more businesses around, like a small arcade. Of course, a cell phone shop that you walk right past, a money transfer counter, a jeweler, and a tailor, all located in this one area. And they've got another location called Lhasa Fresh Food. This is Lhasa Fast Food, one of the last places that the late Anthony Bourdain shot at before he passed away. is one of his Queens episodes that he did back in the day. Heading through University Plaza right now in Jackson Heights. Fake music New York going on all over the city right now. So that pretty much is what it sounds like. Music going on all over New York. Oh, check out one. We're taking in Yak Momo's a sort of stir fry goat meat in front of the Himalayan Yak. All words I'm not really used to pronouncing all that well. What's the rush for? I did like the Yak. Yeah. It was very nice. The chicken wings. Good flavor. Very, very good. But uh, very the good. Yak, yak Momo was great. Not too terrible in the pocketbook either. I think I had the most expensive thing, but because we were eating yak, therefore, <laughs> maybe one of the few places you can find it around here. There's this thing going around about, uh, I guess, price equaling quality. Our chef friend, Mickey, please tell people why that just is not the case. It, it, the price does not always equal quality. It's it's mm. about what they put in it, so how, yes. how they how they make it, what they enjoy yes. to do with it. Yes. So you don't have to spend a hundred dollars on a meal to have a good taste. You can no. spend a dollar fifty on dumplings. You can spend five dollars. We're, We're waiting on that. So shooting here in Queens, you got trains running quite literally overhead. <laughs> Mickey's just saying price does not necessarily mean quality or high price does not necessarily mean high quality on food. That's correct. And we're proving that throughout Queens here today. Mm -hmm. 